So we already knew AMD's upcoming mysterious big Navi, also known as Navi 21, would be pretty big in terms of size. And there's been quite a few rumors suggesting its die size. Now, this latest leak is special, guys, because it comes from a Korea C. And what makes this leak interesting, worth talking about, is the fact that this guy has been right many times before. And today we're gonna take a look at his latest massive leak, possibly confirming AMD's big Navi spec stay tuned hey what is up guys welcome to Orbin hardware my name is robin i am your swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent all right so according to this massive leak indicates amd's upcoming big navi graphics card will be twice as large as at radeon rx 5700 xt and thus twice as powerful possibly even more powerful but obviously time will tell so as we know amd is launching a new generation of processors for desktop pcs and ryzen 4000 vermeer later this year and in case you're curious I actually made a video covering both Ryzen 4000 based on Zen 3 and I also made a video on 5th gen Ryzen based on Zen 4 just a few weeks ago and you find both those videos down below. In addition the company is also working on a new generation of graphics cards in the performance class and this graphics card goes under the name Big Navi and it's based on the architecture RDNA 2. Now AMD CEO Lisa Su has previously confirmed that Big Navi will be launched later this year. Oh, Big Navi. And, um, you know, I, I can say you're going to see Big Navi in 2020. And according to this huge leak, there seems to be a good reason for the code name. So this massive leak comes from, again, no other than Aquaria Z from the Taiwanese tech forum known as PC Shipping. And again, this guy has been delivering accurate leaks on upcoming hardware on numerous occasions before. So this information seems legit, but because it's still rumors, we should take this with a grain of salt, of course. So the leaks states three different RDNA 2 GPUs where the Navi 21 is the largest one with a circuit surface of 505 square millimeters and guys this is massive now compared to AMD's current top card at Radeon RX 5700 XT this card has a die size of 251 square millimeters so this is essentially a doubling in terms of size alone the Navi 21 has enough space to hold 80 compute units and this is double up from 4 40 compute units on the Radeon RX 5700 XT and this gives Big Navi a total of 5120 Steam processors. However guys keep in mind this does not take into account the hardware support for ray tracing and this will occupy an unknown number of transistors per uh, compute units and thus can limit the amount of you know the die area a bit that can be used for the stream processors so we have to keep that in mind. Now in addition to the big one Navi 20 one, we also find two smaller siblings and these are known as Navi 22 and Navi 23 and these are getting a die size of 340 and 240 square millimeters respectively where Navi 23 is expected to become the RDNA 2 based replacement for the Radeon RX 5700 XT. Now Kamashi and Saka which is uh, also a known leaker in the community states a margin of error of 5 square millimeters. And this places Navi 23 close to the die size of its predecessor a circuit surface of 251 square millimeter but something that we cannot forget here is that despite the die size, the fact is these new graphics cards are gonna be based on a totally new architecture. Previous reports indicate the RDNA 2 provides 50% increased performance per watt and so very promising performance potential for Big Navi. Now we believe the flagship will be named Radeon RX 5950 XT. It is expected to launch sometimes in 2020 to then take up the battle with Nvidia's Ampere family known as the GeForce RTX 3000. And guys, if you're curious, I also made a video covering pretty much everything you need to know about these new graphics cards. Now let me know in the comments who do you root for, AMD or Nvidia. Now whether AMD is able to beat Ampere or not is a bit too early to say, but given the die size, the size of the die basically, we should definitely see great competition in the high-end graphics category later this year, there is no question about it. Uh, speaking of release date, we expect Big Navi to drop in August or possibly in September or October and this is also where Nvidia is planning their GeForce launch as well. But let's talk about the design for a moment. I mentioned 
uh, AMD RDNA 2 or Navi 2X is getting 50% increased performance per watt. But the question is, how is that possible? So to answer this, we need to jump back to AMD's financial uh, focused analyst day. So on this day, AMD revealed a few very interesting details about their upcoming graphics card architecture known as RDNA 2. And this is what Big Navi will be based off of. And AMD highlighted RDNA 2 is a lot more than just an upgraded version of the previous first gen RDNA architecture. Architecture, and they refer to it as Navi 2X. Despite the name, AMD refused to share, you know, additional details on RDNA 2 or Navi 2X, except the fact that it would have ray tracing hardware support, which we more or less already knew at this point. Anyway, guys, in this presentation, the company had a tech demo running showing Microsoft ray tracing interface DXR 1.1 running on RDNA 2 circuits. Now, during this presentation, AMD confirmed that RDNA 2 would be the basis for the next generation of PC hardware as well as for gaming consoles and with this statement they also confirmed that these new graphics cards will also get variable rate shading which is also something that we kind of more or less already knew. Biggest caveat with RDNA 2 however is the fact that it's a brand new architecture and when it comes to manufacturing technology AMD looks to background their earlier statements that the company would use TSMC 7 nanometer technology with EUV lithography called M7 Plus. Instead, AMD mentions that they will use an improved variant of TSMC's existing 7 nanometer. That would indicate that they're opting for the N7P instead. And in terms of performance, we believe Navi 21 will be a massive graphics card with enough horsepower to run most games in 4K and 60 FPS for sure. Guys, let me know in the comments below what do you think about Big Navi. And in case you're curious, you'll find more interesting details about Big Navi and Ryzen and down in the video description. I'll watch either of these two videos to learn more and I will see you guys in the next one.